yes and welcome everybody so today we'll just go through how to create this uh, quick and easy setup using redshift and couple of Houdini's, Houdini's node and as you can see here we have a text with some electrical uh, current uh, traveling through the surface and in other uh, one there is also some sparks moving away in a curl noise uh, behavior so we'll have another look here yes. so let's dive inside and see how we come up with this scene okay so a couple of cameras and uh, a light that's at the top spotlight here we started with a font this font let's change it to another font so we have fix for instance then we extruded it and we close the back then we convert it to a VDB let me cancel the lighting so it's a VDB now we need for material then convert it to polygon again with adaptivity of 0.5 we smooth it a little bit after that we want to go and create the sparks that's traveling everywhere but before that I want this one to be sort of animated so we created a packed uh, geometry with packed and the name and we run through the uh, backed RBD with rigid body solver with a pop pop just to create some curl noise added to the velocity and a drag of course always we use the drag so slight movement yes, yes, maybe we go down to point two you see because the uh, rigid body back to the body are essentially a points so all the bob forces can be used with the rigid body back to primitive okay after that we took this animation and we imported it we unpack it again because here it's just uh, back geometry here it's unpacked so we can play with it here it's ready for render and we used a material uh, for from redshift just a standard uh, milky coffee material that I modify it a little bit we recomputed the normal on the points so we have normals the point pop here we just make the cross product if I put it in the normal so I take a cross product of the normal so essentially the normal are pointed up in the z-axis so the cross product against uh, the up vector up in y it's curved now see curve if we make it here and here zero so it's curved in return up and down okay then in this attribute angle we are choosing random points so random points that is uh, animated through the dollar f with a three shot of uh, this channel and we are removing the bones so if we look at it now for it's like this and here it's like this and this one is animated we can we can make it slower this is the f multiplied by 0.5 
let's see now. No, multiply by five. It is getting. No, oh, this is um, because this one is changing. So maybe I can take this one. X. And the three shot. If I keep it fixed, so it's fixed. We'll just keep it. Okay. Okay. So after that, we give it uh, this yellow color. We pick it against the volume, so it's outside a little bit. And then we add in some random groups: the ob open edge, the unshared one, and we are blasting some of it so we have a few areas that we scatter points randomly on it the total 3500 then we are computing the velocity reserve original because we have velocity here we compute the velocity we are computing velocity we have it as v then we go through the bobnet but here, one thing, where is it? Not here. This one. This one is being anime controlled by a channel. So in this, this is uh, the channel we are using, just a noise with a limiter. This is the one. We are giving a noise to the amount or the threshold okay. being controlled now. So if you uh, close monitor it, okay. it's moving something like this. Anyway, group. So we scatter, we trail, and we go to the top to another pop network. Here we are talking a low res of the font which we want to do it as a uh, static here if you look so the points are moving and the way they are moving the attribute I'll make it less now and uh, it's moving away and the pop pop let me close this one yeah in the pop pop we did a couple of things so we wanted to sort of stick on the geometry so we are taking the xy distance of the second input the second input that's this one that's pointing to the to this one let's use it okay Input, second input. Okay. So when we play with it, because we have another forces that is inside, then we are taking from this one the primnum and the UV, and we are interested in the position that we add it to the point with some curl noise, and we add it to the multiplication. Of the velocity, let's try and add it to the point. And the uh, input here, and make it one. Okay, with some drag resistance. Okay, some gravity, and we make the life shorter. After that, we have some trail. So this is how it's curling. Trail of six uh, in length, and we take it out. On the other side, we have the connectivity. So each letter is a separated entity. We 
only reduce it and we create it uh, for each loop so here we are randomly selecting some bones not five bones let's go three bones and we name it with a group of these select points mm -hmm -hmm. start this is three select random bonds new group here the group should be select random bonds one and here we select another point x is too much here we call it random point two and we are finding the shortest path Increase it also here. We start with one, one, and two. So we have some points, but let me increase it. Okay, so we have some points here. We are carving it with uh, dollar $f uh, divided by FFD, the end, F end, here with F end. So this one will make it uh, trouble, if you, as you can see here. So when we go out, and we give it a resemble. electricity let's increase it even more and we give this one different seeds this one we give it even more Perfect. we give it a soft peak so it grow out color and if we merge them together we go here we go to the beginning and here are it maybe we can use some start and some end let's see we want to experiment with it that give us something pleasant to watch here so if we took this frame for instance and we go to this camera here I'm just importing the other nodes I'm adding the lines by a group and using the ID and using the material so it's like a string and I'm enforcing it to be a strand with cylinder and I'm also carving uh, the other lines I'm giving them uh, cylinder shape and in the material this one I'm giving it some uh, emission with a high number of 200 let's change it to different color like this one look nice and the other one this one with a color of blue 500 let's make it 700 okay in the output 
because I was experimenting with a couple of uh, movement. Yeah, uh, some frames without even the uh, sparks like this one. Here, let's fire up the chat. Choose this camera and have a render. Maybe I can go a little bit more deep. And here, I will change the material to something that's say glass. As a glass, it's nice water. The lead. silver. I will go with the glass and the color of this one and the exit emission. Reflection of this, some sheen, now it looks nice, if we look at the edge, A small number. Let's play with the second material. This one. Overall, let's go crazy. Here we we'll use strips. here the transmission so this one maybe we can run it a little bit longer here is another render let's make it bigger another frame Let's choose another board. Let's stop and go here. Let's try another board. Let me choose. I'll choose my friend Patrick uh, Guava. Hopefully, I'm uh, 
what I've pronouncing the name correct shout out to his channel a lot of support I'm getting from him thank you so let's try his name let's see where we at move the camera a little bit to the back and make it run let's go here and see let it run for a while so I run a couple of frames and let's go here and have a look very cool let's try another name also my friend here very nice video about clothes so we'll try it let's stop it and go with a few frames and I want to change the color to green run for a couple of frames and see where we at up to 20 okay. and have a render that's cool so this is the render very nice we choose another name also my friend Santiago also very nice channel a lot of support Kobe and we go here let me stop where is the font control B and let's use a nice combo between yellow and here yellow and pink okay let's run it there it is let's make it big let it cook for a while so here it is very cool with this version here we will choose another name also my friend Ray Shout out to Mr. Bray. Let's stop here. Go to the front. So, so thank you very much for your support and your comments and have a nice day.